when I went on my first alternative spring breaks trip, uh, I was just back from Afghanistan. I was thinking about going into academia and I went to McAllen, Texas to advocate for um, immigrants, for, for undocumented immigrants. And over the next two years, my work with the YMCA completely changed my life, the trajectory of my life. Uh, it got me asking what I think are the right questions. Questions about the communities we live in, questions about the, the people who are least served by those communities. I think the thing that really stood out about Kyle's nomination was the way that he applies his passion to make real impact in the lives of children and for his organization, whether it's making sure that donor, donor stewardship is a priority or thinking about new and creative ways to support foster children or even becoming more learned about the issue himself. He always goes above and beyond. And I remember when he was a student, it was the exact same way. As co-director of Alternative Spring Break, he really brought this maturity and drive that you don't always see in an undergraduate student. And it's really exciting to see how he's applying that today. I think it's easy in this work, which is extremely taxing emotionally and, and personally. I think it's easy to focus on the cost of failure. Uh, it's easy to focus on what the bad outcomes are. It's easy, to, it's easy to get sidetracked by that and to get hung up on that. But more important is to recognize the value of the work. Uh, what can be created. Uh, in, in foster care work, the cost is enormous. The costs are waiting for you every day. But the value is so much more. The child can have a place, a family, where they can grow and heal. And uh, I think it's easy, it's easy to forget the value and only be aware of the cost. But the value is, is what's gonna keep you going. The value is always what keeps you going.